sis. <laughs> I mean, so far so good. Hey y'all, it's me, Pretty Witty 77 and if you're witty, then welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, whistle. Today, as y'all can already see by the title, we're gonna be trying this new wash and go combo. Um, I think I'm a little bit of a leave-in junkie. It's literally between deep conditioner and leave-in. Like, uh, like forget the gels, get all the stylers, like a good leave-in sis and a good deep conditioner. I just got out of the shower and I washed my hair. My hair is clean. I did go ahead and apply some of the leave-in. So let me just go ahead and give some of y'all my first impression. Some of y'all my first impressions on this product, which is the Curls Creme Bleu Whipped Cream Whipped Curl Cream. This stuff smells just like whipped cream. It smells extremely sweet. It kind of smells. And let me start. You know, doing my hair. It kind of smells like. <laughs> y'all it smells like sugar like it smells really sweet it's not bad it's just really sweet and i can see somebody who don't who not don't really like things too sweet i can i feel like this i don't know girl i'm being dramatic right now but it's it, it doesn't bother me at all like it it smells good so i ain't gonna hate anyways the gel of choice that i'm using today is the eco styler i'm gonna say all of Argan, I cannot talk today. Argan oil, argan, argan, <laughs> however you want to say it. So I'm super excited to try this out. Um, I do have some warm water in this spray bottle right here, so you know how we do. My hair is still wet, y'all. I don't know if it really looks that way to you guys, but it is. So my impressions on this leave-in is that when i first put it in my hand i'm like okay i really like this leave-in because it's creamy it's thick and i'm like i can't even get to come out so i'm like oh my god it's creamy and i guess because the last couple of weeks i've been having kind of a problem with leave-ins because i've been trying some things some liquid leave-ins and some other leave-ins that weren't as creamy and it's just it was just like a welcome home. So I'm definitely not mad at that. I'm not mad at the moisture, the initial moisture that it provides as well. So I can't complain about that, okay? It's, I've, I've had better, let me just say. It's just not like, oh my God, but it, it's not bad at all. I can literally feel that moisture. I can feel that barrier there that's gonna hold me down when I put this argan oil in my hair, so. Let's go ahead and try that out. Everything smooth, everything pretty much going kosher right now. It feels really good. And y'all, I already knew <laughs> the argan oil really agrees with my hair. Um, I think high maintenance you, i think this is one of her combos but i think she uses a coconut eco styler with this leave-in if i'm not mistaken if you're watching girl please let me know but um sis <laughs> i mean so far so good definitely excited about this i shingled my hair on camera a million times so let me go ahead and at least show y'all halfway through and kind of give what i'm thinking about this product give my opinion okay y'all so i finished the wash and go these are my wet results it looks pretty good the slip was amazing i don't know if it's the gel or the leave-in it just kind of like blended together but these products y'all together so far <laughs> oh i just pray these things don't flake on me i'm sitting up here big enough these products i don't know so far in the wetness of the go in the wetness of the wash and go it seems pretty good so i'm gonna get back to you guys when my hair dries let you guys know how it feels or whatever i might sit under the dryer for about 15 minutes one of my subscribers actually um recommended it i don't really know it's late 
and I'm going to bed with wet hair. <laughs> People be so mad, like, how can you go to sleep with wet hair? Like this, sis. I'm on it and go to sleep. Anyways, I'm doing way too much talking. I'll see you guys in the next clip. So this is my hair completely dry. Yes, and guess what? It was less than 24 hours later. I sit under a hooded dryer for about 30 to 35 minutes after I styled it. Um, and I let the, the rest finish drying the day. Well, today, like the next day. So these are my results. And let me just say that the whole sit under the dryer method for me, um, it did create like a cast around the top like a barrier like, like let me lock this into place and let it look a certain way while the uh, the rest of your hair has the potential to like throw or freeze out if you're not careful but i was careful um but the part that was not dry for me sitting under the dryer like the back area it didn't dry with a gel cast like with natural air <laughs> and that is something that i know that's why i like air dry it's the most natural way to go about it um i will consider that method when i'm like in a push for time and i did probably just need to go to sleep without sleeping on completely wet hair so there are a few things i want to talk about this wash and go a few points i want to touch my hair feels good it feels really good to the t to the touch it feels like hair um sometimes it feels like maybe your hair looks good because i know a lot of you saying but your hair still looks great on products that i feel like didn't work for me because just because the definition is there let me start by saying it okay let's start there it looks good but this time it feels good i've had times where my hair just look good and it just not did not feel good the only catch to this combo there are a little bit of flakes and I don't even really get a lot of flakes, y'all. Like, I really don't. There's a little bit of snow white going on in these streets, okay? And it's not like a snow blizzard. It's not horrible. It's not even like a light snow. It's kind of like the snow that comes down and when it hits something, it doesn't stick. It's not like, oh my God, my shirt is white. Like, it's not even that. It's not even that big of a problem. Um... But just to keep it G, there there is some flakage going on. And I I probably wouldn't have picked it up if I would have been outside like like running my fingers through my hair, like fluffing it. And I was like, wait. I was legit embarrassed because it was like people around, like, do they see this stuff flowing around through the air? I don't know. It was just like horrible. But my hair does feel like hair. It doesn't feel like crunchy or hard. Like I wouldn't be embarrassed for someone to be like, um, touch my hair and be like, oh, okay. Not saying you still need the extra permission. Like, let's start there. If I had to rate this a wash and go moisture levels, because like I said, anything can create the look, but how does your hair feel? Hashtag how your hair feel though. Okay, how does my hair feel? My hair feels good. Like I told y'all, my hair feels like hair. So on a scale from one to 10 moisture wise, I probably would give it a, a seven. Like it feels good, but I've, like I said, I've used products that were a little bit more moisturizing, which probably were a little bit more heavier. But I'm not going to knock it. I really feel like anything, when you're doing a wash and go with a gel, a gel going to gel, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, cast. But it's up to you to break the cast. I broke the top layer of my hair with the product I break all my gel cast with. But I got this um, cream brulee. I got it on sale for like $7. It was marked down. I don't know why, but I picked it up. It's retailed on the Curls website for $10.99 though. So I kind of saved a little bit. It's not bad. So y'all, all in all, I feel like these were two great products that I used. Maybe just not paired together. I would definitely continue to use both and probably find the proper combination for them both. But um, yeah, I would, I would definitely purchase this again. Um, like I said, there are ones I like more than this, but, um, it's definitely not a flop. I want to know your favorite curls product. Um, and we talking about favorite curls product. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all mine. It's the Cashmere and Caviar Deep Conditioner followed by the Cashmere and Caviar Leave-In. Okay, sis, those two products are bomb. 
So let me know yours. And if you made it this far already and you aren't already subscribed, sis, what what's going on? What's what are you doing? What are you <laughs> what are you doing? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, I have videos over here that you may or may not have seen. Take some time, sis. Play around. Get caught up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.